What's up folks, once again Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're going to have a look at the SD Made and Made Pro tools. So the SD Made is a great way to figure out what's going on in your system, to clean your system up and get you going at full efficiency for any Android. Now first off, let's have a look at the Corpse Finder. A Corpse Finder is an app that will search your system to see if you have any leftovers from apps that you might have uninstalled, apps that might have become updated and uh, have less stuff behind that you don't necessarily need. So let's let's see what it came up with. Got some Skype, some Samsung. All kinds of stuff that I don't need. So. Just hit that big red button. And I'll get rid of them. And that uh, saves my space for more resources for more things that I actually use. So yeah, here in the toolbar you can see everything we get. We get Overview, Explorer, Search, App Control, of course, Corpse Finder, System Cleaner, App Cleaners, Duplicates. So I've already used Duplicates. It's a good way to find duplicate files and stuff on your system. So let's check out Overview. It'll check out your system. And um, I don't know why it's giving me two public storages, but whatever anyways uh scroll on down don't like how it doesn't know if i'm rooted or not i'm unlocked but i'm not uh, i'm pretty sure i'm not rooted gives you information on your busy box or toy box and the sq light tells you what you're sitting at what device you're using interesting enough of course we have your standard file explorer gotta have a file explorer File Explorer on all the things. The search feature I found didn't exactly work too good. I'm looking for AVG antivirus, but I can't find it. That's one thing I'm really disappointed with the Android operating system. I can't just swipe one way or another and type in a name or type in an app name and it'll automatically show me. I have to search through everything. I have to remember the name of it. I have to search through everything. And then, so content, AVG. Yeah, I had to search through everything and find it myself. Um, okay, so honestly, I'm not too happy with the search feature. It is everything that I wanted. I wanted a search feature, but it doesn't deliver very nicely. It doesn't find a damn thing, in my opinion. So. App Control. All your installed applications are listed here to show you the system application, check the setting, tapping an item will reveal the actions that are available to it. Okay. Yep, so here we can see all the fun stuff running on my system. I guess we can stop that. Oh, sweet. We can export as APK file. That's good. Actually, I don't use that app, so I'm just going to delete it from here. That's neat. Being able to delete it from that location. Awesome. Being able to... Being able to export your program as APK, that's definitely pretty cool. That way, if you have it installed, but you don't have the, the, the installer, say a friend wants it, and that's just what you do right there. Let's check out System Cleaner. Yep, standard kind of stuff. This cleans up unused files. The full key was about five bucks for this. I keep hearing a lot of good things about this. That people have uninstalled C Cleaner from their system once they started using this. I could have a lot of files on here because it's been a long time since I've gone through and deleted things. The duplicator one I did put through and I found out that I had my music library on there twice. So I erased half of it and of course that gave me a lot of extra speed. Alright, let's see what we got here. Temporary files, gallery thumbnails, advertisement files. Get rid of them all. There's the Android chick drinking her tea. Get to work. Stop drinking your tea. App cleaner. Your applications are scanned for files that can be deleted without losing important data. This does not delete the application settings. 
Let's see what we find here. Honestly, I'm not sure I want to delete any of this stuff. Duplicates, like I showed you, it goes through, it finds doubles of whatever you got, but it's not going to find anything here because I just ran it recently. Storage Analyzer. Alright, cool thing about Storage Analyzer, it does give you a good idea where all your stuff is going to. The Android operating system in this case is where most of my local memory is going to. It takes a bit minute to get it going, but... Databases, this will optimize databases by using the SQL command vacuum. It improves database performance by releasing empty packets. No data is lost. I didn't even know I had any SQL databases on here. Boost. All right. And then we can get schedulers. You can schedule any of these things to happen at a particular time. Leave in exclusions. And it'll show us our statistics. So pretty cool. Pretty simple. I'm kind of wondering why this was five bucks though. Or just about five bucks Canadian. You know what? I think I'm going to take my phone for a spin now. And see if this thing is any uh, better. My LG G3. See if it's any better. Alright, I will catch you folks soon. Alright, so I had a chance to go through some other apps that were giving me a little bit of lag issues. And I gotta say, I got through it a lot nicer than I had before. So I gotta give this uh, app two thumbs up. I've tried other booster apps, but nothing's come close to this. This thing is easily made my system but 33% faster. Maybe even 50% faster. And I cannot complain about that. I'm still rocking down an LG G3. Don't got the money for a new phone, but one of these days I might. Anyways, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if uh, you like this stuff. Appreciate it. It helps me out, guys. And have a good one. Catch you later.